Blessed love and peace and rise and fall uh, This is a continuation of the brief joint that I just uh, shared a couple minutes ago. Provided some explanation about what I communicate and how that applies amidst the protocol of don't get mad, don't blame, and don't try to punish. So, um, don't get mad. I'm, it's not a matter of anger. Um, so, just put that aside because, again, we're working on time constraints here. The second one, don't blame. Uh, so it's not in actuality what I recognize in the scenario that I described what I do um, in those circumstances is one going to the spot where I was achieving things that were not necessary not essential there's a strong reason for it um, and but it was essential uh, essentially a luxury for specific reasons uh, par uh, fulfilling a ritual but um, it's not worth availing oneself to what happens afterwards or amidst that so that's one thing that I do uh, that contributes to the conditions and that I can change. The other thing is also that um, I saw the kinfolk before I went in there and I didn't do anything proactively to anticipate. I didn't I didn't do much to proactively anticipate that scenario and to say like, yo, don't, 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 don't come up here. Um, I could have done that. I didn't do that. So that's on me again. So, that, so that's not a matter of blaming. Now that being said, uh, don't try to punish well, actually, before we get to don't try to punish, don't blame. Don't blame doesn't mean avoid or ignore other people's actions and the consequences of other people's actions, the effects, the negative effects that other people's actions have. We can recognize that cause and effect and do something about that cause and effect without blaming. Just recognizing that that person did something, it had that effect, and it warrants action accordingly. Um, how is that different than blame? I'm just going to say it is. For the moment, uh, it's 2 a.m. and I'm about to have some food because of this fatigue. Been working. Yes, so I'm just going to table that part of it for the moment and get into the crux or the, the further significant essential c component here, which is the punishment. So, um, we're getting below two now. Below two, two below. Anyways, um, don't try to punish. We can do consequences. Uh, when, so two things here. Don't try to punish means not trying to, like, hurt somebody or something. If somebody does something, we can do consequences. We can put people on punishment, children on punishment. They 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 were late to school. They were playing. They were derelict or some. Uh, they were um, uh, tardy or um, what's that word? Um, Negligence. It's not dereliction. They were they were um, delinquent. They didn't go to school anyways. You can put a punishment on child. Okay. Um, because of that, no 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 devices for the next two weeks. Now that's not trying to hurt the child. And additionally, it's trying to instill or, or share with the child the consequences of the action. And in actuality, it's very legitimate because what is being communicated is that oh, you want to do what you want to do. Okay, then go in and live on your own. If you don't want to live on your own, here's what's going to, this is what's necessary to stay in the house that I support, um, the, the, the utilities, the provisions, the materiality that I support, here's part of our contract. We're going to, re we're going to have a, a, a renegotiation of our contract and the services that are provided herein because the, the service provider on your side have been negligent. That's essentially what a parent is communicating. So it's not a matter of trying to hurt the child or pain the child specifically for that purpose. Um, so in this respect, uh, that, that's one occasion, uh, when, when somebody, uh, steals something, um, the penalty, the consequence is returning that and then some, so that's, that's, uh, you can call it, it's, it's different than like a personal punishment or vendetta, uh, or otherwise, because those are un dissatisfactory. Those are never satisfied. Um, but there is a there are there are measures that are appropriate. So again, that that can be some kind of that can be perceived as pimp talk pimp talked nuances, um, but it's legitimate. I mean, it's the legitimate endeavor and approximation of justice on this earthly realm. In this earthly realm, there ain't no justice in this earthly realm, uh, but it's an approximation, uh, particularly for the, facil the facilitating order. So that is very legit. Now we are into one. 
Um, that's on the one side. On the second side. Uh, oh, um, so what's what's the what's the consequence for? Like, what's 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 the disrespect? What's the abuse? <laughs> Do the do the homework, um, and this particular incident that I described is not like the the, the, the tipping skill, or it's not the it's not the main joint. Uh, there's so much further, um, but what is articulated from all right, and all of those things that the United States does for over two hundred years. Um, warrants action being taken against the United States, not in terms of punishing or, or trying to blow up or kill people, but to prevent those actions from occurring, from reoccurring. Um, so that's that is that is a, a legitimate measure, a countermeasure to the malfeasances and atrocities that the United States is committing, the disrespect and abuse against life. Now. That's legitimate in and of itself. But even further, it's a matter of recognizing that when the United States causes these malfeasances, these atrocities, these torts against life, tortious acts against life, systemically particularly, it impedes the ability of righteous kinfolk, of pious kinfolk, of contributing to the public safety and order of society. And thus, it simply, um, it requires the actors of those atrocities to take on further responsibility in tending to those needs of society. So that's, that's, um, that's part of the consequence of those atrocities uh, and, and those impositions. So when when disrespect is made towards myself personally um, and abuse is made against myself personally, that inhibits me from optimally sharing the services of well-being and healing that I do. So then that causes further harms that has repercussions back towards the actors. Um, so it's not even a matter of me intending any action specifically and then what I described before, what I and I described before is beyond myself, So, but I'm just saying specifically in my personal experience. It's not even a matter of me intending or acting directly to try to try to impose justice or, or even just to execute those measures. It's the nature of how the game works. One is it one we're getting we're seriously though on the storage joint. Um Here's the story of the American Gangster. This is somewhat of a, a violent example, but this is an example. The story of the American Gangster, uh, Bumpy Johnson, played by Denzel Washington. Um, and in this scenario, um, one gangster, I, th I think this was it. It might have been, I think this was that film. But I think there was a scenario where a gangster kills another gangster, uh, or something along those lines. And the gangster who was killed was in debt to another gangster. Uh, and so now that the gangster is killed, like that debt is still outstanding. And so the gangster who killed that gangster now actually inherits inherits the debt that that slain gangster had towards the third gangster. So um, that's a, just a very crass, rude example and not very favorable for yours truly um, of, of what is being discussed is that one takes on when one inhibits the ability of one of another being fulfilling the role the service that that being is providing for the universe then that individual who is imposing and inhibiting that other individual assumes the responsibility of those services that the 
imposed upon being is providing. And very often and always, the being who's being imposed upon don't see how much they're actually doing, the services that kinfolk are providing. Um, and the streets come looking for that. The universe comes looking for that. Heaven and earth come looking for that. So um, that's what is being articulated here. Uh, and kinfolk can try to avoid it and delay it and hide from it as much as kinfolk want and, and endeavor, but ain't no hiding. So um, what we articulate here is simply an FYI, a public service announcement to help in preparing um, and encouragement of recognizing that um, a significant economic loss can be very difficult, but it ain't the worst. So, um, anyways, that's basically it. Um, as always, all thanks and praise to the Most High Elohim, blessed love and peace in Rastafari.